Next up in our EP Fiber series is the Tarantula Muddler. This is using a one inch Tarantula Brown brush. It looks killer and it's a lot easier than trying to deal with a dubbing loop, especially for beginners, or stacking and trimming bucktail. We're going to start with some lead free wire. It's 0 0.20. Kind of add some weight to the streamer and some movement as well. You're going to want to lock that in with some zappa gap and a nice thread dam. And once you get the wire locked in, we're going to move the thread all the way back to right before the bend of the hook so we can start to develop our tail and back section. Next, we're going to grab some flash. I'm using a pearl crystal flash for this tail. You can use just about any color flash you'd like, mix and match to whatever you're feeling. Try to get about four pieces of crystal flash for the tail. And tie that in on top. And then we'll be adding pearl braid on top as well to kind of help even out the body. I'm using about a four inch piece here. And once you get that tied in, make sure the entire body's nice and level and smooth before we add our rabbit strip. It always helps if you can wet your fingers before separating the rabbit skin, then you can get down the hide very easy and not cut off any fibers you want to keep on the fly. And we're going to tie this in right at the back. And make sure your pearl braid is pulled a little bit off to the side because we're going to be moving that forward and we don't want it behind the rabbit strip on the tie-in. The next step is some nice consistent tight wraps with the pearl braid to make sure we got a smooth straight body section on this fly. Work that to the front and then we'll tie that piece in. I'm going to just throw in a little half hitch here to make sure everything's nice and secure. And 
Then we're going to turn the fly over and we're going to put in our gill section. I'm using EP Sparkle Fibers. You could do this with regular Crystal Flash, but the fibers are a little bit softer than the Crystal Flash. I'm going to take about a 3 inch piece. I'm going to cut that in half and then we're going to fold it over one more time around the thread. And then move that piece into place and tie it in. Crystal Flash is a little easier to use in this step, but I like to look at the EP fibers a little bit better. They're a little messy, but you can always do with some trimming up. And then we're going to pull the entire section back to the point of the hook and cut at an angle. And then trim up any fibers that you didn't catch in that. The next step is to add some rubber legs. I'm using this pearl holographic rubber leg. There's tons of different options in this. I just like the combination of the pearl flash and the pearl braid and the pearl legs. And we're going to tie these on a 45 degree angle into the cone. And we want those legs to be kind of hanging down at an angle. You don't want them straight along the hook shank or going upwards. Then we're going to tie in the rabbit strip right into the cone. get it started, trim it flush, and then get that little tag end tied in. And now for the tarantula brush. Once again, we're going to tie it at a 45 degree angle into the cone. You can get a nice little base, make sure it's all locked in. And then wrap opposite of the other materials. It helps strengthen the overall fly. And make sure you pull back the fibers on each wrap too, so you're not catching anything underneath. We're going to cut the wire, tie everything in, and finish with a nice whip finish, or two. The last step is to trim the materials. So we're going to separate the fur from the hide on where we want the length of our tail and cut. And then we're going to trim the flash to where the hide ends. And for this fly, trim the rubber legs to right about where the end of the hook is. You can go shorter, you can go longer, it all is kind of personal preference.
and then use a brush to pull out the fibers in case anything got caught in there and then smooth everything out And there you have it, the Tarantula Muddler.